And welcome on back. We are still assailing the uh, Sabat compound. Okay, awesome. How's my odious chalice? Filled up. Nice. So I've got a full heal if I need it. And yeah, there's there there's no saving Heather. The only way you can save her is if either you use a mod, or if you basically boot her out near the start. Otherwise, you'll either be forced to kill her yourself, or you will be forced to watch her die. A little morsel. You have forever placed, uh, you forever have a place in my broken brain. Yeah, just run right through the fire. Normally you're supposed to sit there and take pot shots at him as he drops his flame wall and all that, but you can just run right through the fire. <laughs> it makes this particular mini boss substantially easier. Oh. Didn't mean to press that. Now I... Come to the bottom of the Sabbat's bullshit. Now, this, regardless of... Mm, uh, regardless of how good your firearm sk skills are... Is still... I need nine. Uh, still a very powerful weapon. I recognize the smell of your blood, young Knight. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel. The blood is wasted in you. Wasted! Well, you could try and come and take it. Miserable, ignorant gutter spawn. You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. I will 
do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. Purify these nuts, bitch. So we get ourselves a big boy boss. Our old trick won't actually work anymore. But with the flamethrower, we can just fuck his ass up real fast. And now I have max dodge. Bitch. Ming Zhao. Be at peace, kindred. You stand amongst friends now. Enemies can wear the shed skin to friends. Your foes all lie vanquished, kindred. I come to help. Be at peace. Trouble is nothing but yours to give. Hmm. A true friend in death is as true love. Precious, rare, and sweet. Pray your senses have not gone so languid that this blessing cannot be savored. <laughs> Indeed, the Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of LaCroix, it was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. We did have an arrangement, LaCroix and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. LaCroix's zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. Sounds about right. LaCroix feared Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, for the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about LaCroix's ambitions. LaCroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems. A hardened rebel leader and a problematic primogen in one fell stroke. And as you can see, I was integral to his plan. LaCroix convinced me that an alliance with a Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Quay Jin. And so with my help, your prince framed Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout. Yes. You were made to be the witness, for your political naivete put your word beyond reproach. No one would believe you devise such a story. LaCroix used you and once again turned a problem to his advantage. Our dealings with LaCroix have put his integrity into question. He has become careless. His desire for the sarcophagus seems to have superseded all other concerns, including political discretion. It is obvious to me that he wishes to obtain it, only so that he might use its power against those who would oppose him. If he betrays his own kind in these pursuits, can I trust him to honor our allegiances? Can you? Hmm. You need to understand that you are a liability, Kindred. Once LaCroix finds the right moment, you will be disposed of, just as he did with Alistair Grout, Mr. Rodriguez, your sire, and countless others. You are no more to him than an entry on his ledger, a sum of that which can be bled from you.
Hear these words, kindred. The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. I hope you recognize my sincerity, kindred. I would like to see you reach your destination before your path is cut short. I hope when next we meet, it is again as friends. Yeah, no, uh... I already know how your ending ends, and sorry not sorry, you ain't ever getting my support again. Jack ain't here. What the hell did you want? Hey, where'd Jack go? Anything Heard new with anything? you? That bastard! He sold us out? Actually, something new. Alright, let's go say hey to Sub Dickhead LaCroix. Souls draped in rotten tatters and Sorry, man. Not creepy at all. Next up, dodge, <gasps> which means I've got maxed up combat defense. Nice. Um, I mean, at this point, I may as well max up my melee combat. Get your hands up, Matt. Oops. Oh, am I ever glad you're safe, Cinnamon Bun? I was on sick leave when I heard about the attack. I worried you might have been... Well, anyway, your security stud's here to protect you now. Don't you worry. Oh, don't worry. I'll drink you dry soon enough. I guess you can go on up. He wasn't expecting you, but this should be all right. It's not here. The Sabbat. Historical. Filed under dinosaur for extinct. Another obstacle is removed. From the enemy, we resurrect a new order. And this, in no small part, to your service. <laughs> Did you hear that? You were never able to wipe them out completely. Keep it up, and you may have his job. My unstoppable crusader. My victories in this city are in no small part due to you. You've done what I've asked without question, and you've done it well. Take this small token of my appreciation. We'll rule this city side by side, you and I. You found the key. Where? Who has it? This nonsense again! Look, I told you before, no kindred would ever ally themselves with those demons. This is a subterfuge, a trick to start a civil war. And apparently, it's worked. Hmm. As of this moment, there is no blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez. The Quajen have revealed their plot. <laughs> they want us to war against each other? Well, to that, I propose an alliance with the Anarchs. Together, we kindred shall drive out these foreigners once and for all.
Whether they trust me or not, the Kuei Jin are the greater threat. They do trust you, however. After all, you've been working for them all this time. <laughs> oh no. He knows. He knows! Spare me the explanation. I don't hold it against you. Your affiliation is a trite concern next to your accomplishment. In fact, you alone can bridge the two kindred communities and sound the Kuei Jin's death knell. You'd be a legend. They are going to love it. Go to the last round immediately. Tell them the Kuei Jin have admitted to killing Grout and that the blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez is officially over. Tell them I have realized the true threat the Kuei Jin pose and wish to negotiate a pact. You will be my emissary for the Alliance, so naturally you speak on behalf of the Camarilla. Choose your words carefully. I will begin organizing plans for war. Good luck. The prosperity of all this city's kindred depends on your success tonight. Hmm. Oh no. Probably shouldn't put that much weight on me. <laughs> so I play my by my own proclivities there, Sabby. Still on that, right? Yeah. Wait. Yes, get up. Uh, Beckett. About the sarcophagus. You're not you at the moment. Don't open it. Whatever you do, do not open the Ankaran sarcophagus. But. Beckett promised me nothing. It, uh, it was nothing in the previous episode. Well, despite what I said, if that sarcophagus is opened, there will be disaster. In what form, I cannot be sure. But after studying the evidence, I'm convinced now that it is better left undisturbed. And anyone who'd pursue any other course is deserving of the consequences. There's an intangible sensation I haven't been able to put my finger on since I came to town. I still don't know where it seeps from. But if the sarcophagus is a possibility, to eliminate that chance, it should remain closed. I thought you deserved a chance. There's a good possibility we may not meet again. Goodbye, young one. Goodbye, Wolfie. Woo! So I could go back to Mercurio and buy some more uh, ammunition for the flamethrower. But I don't really need it at this point point not for the section coming up anyways what the hell do you want <laughs> nothing apparently hey uh he knew about my plan all along heard anything I mean, yes, but... <laughs> we told him Nines didn't do it! That son of a... And that Quaijin bitch! If I ever get my hands on her, I'll tie her eyelashes to her ass hairs and bowl her ass into a car compactor! Demon! Oh, whore! Oh, that is some colorful language you got there. <laughs> Nine, yeah. I can't 
believe it's come to this. Oh, I hate those goddamn devils even more than I hate that fascist dandy prince. Goddamn Joe. And I'm gonna come and watch this place at the other end. Right now, making skank sushi. Skank sushi, that's a new one. I know you're cool, so... Nines is hiding out in Griffith Park. I don't know about this Alliance stuff, though. I'll go eat with it so I can bomb it. Alright. Well, with that, y'all, I will take a uh, brief pause here, go top off my blood point. Cemetery runoff congealing at the door. Good point, voice in me head. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Cheers.